Sightseers. Sightseeing Sally here and Marty. He's around somewhere scoping out the grounds, I presume. We're checking out another legend down here in Texas. This one was actually featured on BuzzFeed Unsolved. However, what BuzzFeed Unsolved didn't get into was the actual history of this place. Not sure if it was just a little too controversial for them or what, but we're going to delve into that here today and I see Marty coming up. So let's go join him over over by the spot. See anything? Any evidence of satanic activity? Any ghostly activity? Just demented stuff written on the bridge. What? Like yourself? Pretty much. <laughs> so where we're at is the old Alton Bridge, which is actually a historical marker here, but a lot of people know it as Goatman's Bridge and as I said there's some history some interesting history as to how it came to be known as that and the legend behind it according to legend back in 1938 a very successful goat farmer in this area was killed it was basically hung by a group by an angry mob over the side of this bridge now as I had mentioned before, it is a somewhat controversial story and given that we are in the deeper south, we're in Texas, with that I think you can pretty much surmise what the real story is. Because of YouTube's policies, I really don't want to get any more explicit than that. Obviously then, because the person suffered such a heinous and violent death, it is believed that his spirit now haunts the bridge. Now there was mention that there's demonic activity that occurs here. How that came into being, I really don't know. Whether or not it's true though is um, suspect. Uh, people have said that there really isn't anything factual historically that can prove that that story really happened. So again, it's legend and I'm just sharing that with you because I think I think it's kind of important to relay the information or how the legends came to be. I suspect a lot has to do with the culture of the people and picking somebody out as somewhat of a scapegoat, Aye. no pun intended there, um, is probably how that, how that legend came to be. Well, so far I don't see any evidence of any ghostly happenings, any demonic action here at the bridge and I know some of you are going to dispute it by saying well it's broad daylight well you know what ghosts and demons don't rest just because it's broad daylight if anything the activity happens any time of day it's just people are more apt to notice it at night because you know you're you're in the dark and your senses are all heightened and people are afraid of the dark for some reason what the heck I just got stabbed in the finger by by these thorns on this vine here. Eh, maybe something really doesn't like me being here. I don't know. I can see why people have developed this legend over the years. This is kind of a creepy setting with all the overgrowth and the leaves and the... I don't know. Just kind of got an eerie vibe out here. Well... I haven't set foot on the bridge yet. They made a big production about it on BuzzFeed Unsolved, so I don't know if this thing's like known for not being safe or what the deal is. But I'm gonna try it out now. Oh, seems alright to me. I don't know what the big deal was, but they seemed really scared about going up on the bridge. I mean, it's just it's just a legend, guys. I'm not gonna let a little goat man, goat man legend scare you, are ya? I'm not. I 
anything, you got to be watching out for the holes, though, in the planking, because I'm pretty sure ah, my foot could fit through there. Do you know the story, Marty, of how this bridge got its name? No. You want to hear it? Farmer. Well, actually, it does relate to a goat farmer. Marty has made some observations that are rather interesting and I don't know if they play into the fact that this place is supposedly riddled with demonic activity or the ghostly apparitions, but strangely there are padlocks linked to the side of the bridge, to the bracing on the bridge in different spots. I mean and not just padlocks, we're talking some combo locks here. Like a gym locker type lock. So that's really bizarre. Jewelry and locks over here. Well, that looks like we found some other stuff over here too. Well, I can understand the cross being there. What do you make of that? Uh, don't. I don't know what it's called. Well, I'm pretty sure the goat man did not leave that signature. Okay, I can totally understand the cross. I mean, if this is supposed demonic hotbed of demonic activity, of course the cross would come into play because somebody's thinking that that would help protect protect the bridge, protect them, whatever. But as far as the locks go, I don't know. If you know, let me know in the comments section below. Jeez, after reading that, I just kind of got a little bit of the heebie-jeebies. Must have been out drinking the night before. Lipstick's a little messed up. <laughs> and the typical graffiti over here. Truck. Rhymes with truck. Starts with an F. Rhymes with truck. Oh, this is all the graffiti underneath the bridge. Surprised there aren't any like homeless people hanging out underneath here. This seems like it would be a prime spot for that. Don't you think, Marty? Prime spot for what? Homeless people. Or doing crystal math. Or that. Yeah, this doesn't look like a spot for uh, ponies, rainbows, and unicorns. <laughs> Anything sparkly. Yeah. You ain't going to find wiener dog puppies down here. Well, they sparking down here is a lighter for the crack pipe. Yeah, unfortunately. But no, no evidence of hauntings, nothing ghostly, no apparitions so far. You, you brave enough to summon the goat man there, Marty? No oh, thanks. Legend has it if you knock three times up on the bridge, goat man's supposed to show up. Well, sightseers, fortunately, we're going to have to close this out rather quickly here. Marty's all of a sudden not feeling good, so not sure if it's related to the legends here or something else is going on. If you enjoyed the vid, give it a big old thumbs up. It's free. Leave a comment down below, and if you haven't already, subscribe. Hit the, Smash that like button, smash the subscribe, 
you know what to do. Till next time, this is Sightseeing Sally. Special thanks goes out to all our fellow sightseers here on Patreon and PayPal. Without you, these videos wouldn't be possible. Hard to breathe and stuff right now.